Howdy, it's me, Medicated Mark, coming to you from the bunker system located underneath the Art Villa, found somewhere in the jungles of the Midwest. And I realized that I just came to you a few days ago with a stack of records, but today I found a huge stack of records. It was a very good day. Out on the road, just a happenstance uh, that I uh, went to a two-year-old's birthday party. It was a lot of fun, actually. The two-year-old was charming and got really excited about everything. Uh, so that was fun. So, uh, so let's, you know, it was still kind of early in the afternoon. I thought, let's go to an antique store. Um, so now they have the, the truck that talks to me, asks me what I want to do. And so I uh, put in the GPS coordinates and uh, started going I, well, yeah, I would, uh, to this store that I never would have gone in the olden days before that sort of thing existed GPS. Then I turn a corner, I look over, and there's a record store I didn't know existed. <laughs> it's my luck. And, and as luck would have it, my wife was uh, feeling pretty good. So, you know, she kind of went in and just like, I didn't get to look through the whole thing. I would have spent more money there. Um, so they had records I liked, and uh, it was, they were all cataloged alphabetically, like, ah, except for the dollar bin, that was good. I was able to go through that. And jazz was kind of all shoved into a category. <clears throat> but there were new arrivals I needed to look through, and I didn't get a chance. I didn't look through anything else. So, I, you know, I mean, there's probably good stuff spread out all through the store. I just didn't get a chance to go through all of them. But I got a nice big stack of records there. Um, and I had another great story, but now I can't think of what it was. Well, let's just start. So after that, then we, did, we, we still had enough energy after all that to go to the antique store. And uh, just as a side note, at the antique store, I got this stack of military manuals. This is going to be so exciting. Um, from the late 40s, this one actually happened to come out just before the war ended in 1945, February. On light tanks, M24 and twin M40 millimeter guns, motor carriage, M19, transmission transfer unit, propeller shafts, control differentials, and final drives. An original melting manual. This, a big, thick, chunky, basic manual on 1948, August. Medium tanks, M26 and M45. A lot of fun. Uh, medium tanks, M26 and M45. There's more than one manual for any any one tank. And this was just covering the powertrain, released September of 1947. M26 and M45. Auxiliary engine manual. Uh, 1947 and 1945 June, which have been a couple months after the war ended. It's Ford tank engines, models GAA, GAF, and GAN. Just uh, impulsive buy. They weren't that expensive in their original and their tank related. So I think I did really well. I don't know until I research, but I'm hoping that I did well on those if I want to resell them. All right. Now, Here's a stack of records, but this is only like about less than a, this is like a quarter of what I've got to share. And you're going to be here all night. This is going to be great. Uh, should I just sit back and wait for you to get a cup of coffee? It's kind of chilly down here, actually. Okay. Are you back yet? <clears throat> it takes longer to make a cup of coffee than that. I know. Okay. Let's just start out. This is where to put them. <laughs> There's so many. The theme from Goldfinger. This came from the antique store. It was like about a dollar. Theme from Goldfinger on Crown. And there's no indication of, it's just a studio group. I have no idea. That could, that's going to be a lot of fun, I think. It's uh, J.D. Jarvis and Lily Maya, L-I-L-L-I-M-A-I, -L -L -I -I and the Southern uh, Gospel Singers. I think this is going to be um, Rusty York, Lucky, Lucky Jarvis, and J.D. Jarvis. J.D. had a brother? Oh, it looks like his son. His named his son Lucky. <laughs> Lily Maya? Anyway, she's on the back holding the guitar. I think this is going to be a lot of fun. And there's a song on it titled, Don't Sell Daddy Any More Whiskey. All right, so that, that could be a lot of fun. A couple bucks for that. A uh, dollar Sandy Nelson, a record, uh, Sunshine Superman. He does a cover of Sunshine Superman on this. 
So that will be fun. Certainly that will be fun. Who is King Jordan? I don't know. But he plays themes that everybody knows on a phantom guitar. A phantom guitar King Jordan. I have no idea. On Corral. Laura. Mr. Lucky. The theme from Panic. It could be a lot of fun. I bought this because of the cover is so it's a really um, modern art. It's inside of a church, I believe. Designed into modern fashion. Modernist. Uh, I believe it's a f well, it's, I think it's pretty much a female. I think it's a female guitar player. There she is right there. Definitely doing definitely some sort of religious album. On Phillips. It's a lounge album by Joe Jones, Don't Give In, Lounge. Where's he out of? Out of uh, Pat Ascala. Pataskala? Oh, I think I actually pronounced that right. Ohio, that's because I'm from Ohio. Um, what does he cover here? No, I'm sorry, it's a... It's a gospel album, not lounge. Not lounge. There are a couple lounge records in here. Songs and Singings of Oki Duke. <laughs> um, I don't. I have no idea. Sunshine and Raindrops does a cover of that. Pretty Thoughts and, and Snowflakes, Lonely in the Crowd. This is an excellent Percy Faith cover on Columbia. It's one of those high gloss, really slick looking covers. Uh, Percy Faith normally I'm not too interested, but it is a nice, very nice cover. The original uh, Roberta Martin Singers. Roberta Martin. It's on Apollo. I think this is also a gospel album. All right. And just because for the cover, Oh, it's a book fold on capital, capital with a sticker. Put a sticker on it rather than print it on the cover. It's a gospel album, but with a wonderful photograph of swans. Swan Lake, of course it is. And fun for a dollar, it's Ted Heath, Latin Swingers, Ted Heath and his music. Great find. I already have that. I'm not sure. I don't have this, Merle Travis, the guitar, Merle Travis. Uh, it's going to be some kind of country deal, I think. And also, for a dollar, it's Classics for Piano, Leonard Pinero. Uh, anyway, it was a dollar. Kind of a cool cover. And this for a dollar, I don't know who this is. I may already have this, but for a dollar, I had to make sure to pick it up. King Gu Ion? <laughs> Oh boy, the Orient Express, black and blue, on ABC Paramount. All right. And just because, cool cover, the 20s roar on a budget label, hi-fi, well, promenade, yeah, sort of. That's a fun, just a fun looking cover. It's probably got Dixieland on it. That would be my guess from the titles on the back. Don't know. <sighs> I don't know. Probably already have this one too. Who the hell, Jack Nit Nixie? I don't know. <laughs> he's doing covers of some of the Beatles. There he is in the back. He's either blind or he's just, you know, kind of wearing sunglasses. <laughs> Somebody liked it. They wrote great on the back. <laughs> and this, because the cover was so awesome. Just kind of a wonderful photograph on the cover. Uh, South America and Argentina from Argentina. Some sort of South American deal. Oh, there's boleros on it. Mambo rock. Oh. Well, this could be much better than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be like that, uh, that other kind of stuff from South America that I don't care for. <laughs> Flute and the Blues, James Moody. Lum Cadet. That's going to be fun. And I, I don't even ask me. This is some sort of private press thing. It's a, a blank jacket with 
uh, a Xerox photograph of this woman whose name is Evelyn, and supposedly she plays the drums and she sings. Okay, and there's a 45 stuck in here, another promotional piece, Evelyn drums and vocals. I think it's going to be country. That was fun to find too. Man with Horns on Savoy, a great cover, Man with Horns. Boyd Rayburn and his orchestra volume one on Savoy. That will be fun. And Francis Bay on uh, Phillips. I mean, it's usually found on budget labels like um, uh, Hollywood, I think. Um, Latin B. It's a Latin album I don't have with really a great cover on it. Phillips. Francis Bay. Okay. On to some more records. That's right, because we have more. It's Cal to Jader. Jader. <laughs> One of those letters has to be silent. It's 1975. And that's what he looked like. He was still making records in 1975. A long time he's been making records. So that will be fun to listen to. This is a terrific cover. Oh, Elena on Columbia Special Products. Oh, with Lou Perez and his orchestra. Fun cover. I can't believe I did this. I never buy reissues. But it was stuck in with everything else, and I just looked at the cover, and it just, it's it maybe a, a, a reproduction. But Don Costa arranged and conducted it. Diana Washington drinking again. It's going to be interesting to listen to, but I just really rather prefer to buy originals for some reason. It's just the magical quality of holding an original in my hand, actually, that appeals to me. <clears throat> it's a, a Latin artist, Rene Tuzet. What is he doing here? He's la something or other. I'm not even going to try to pronounce that. Oh boy. Okay. It'll be fun. Red Hot Harp, Robert Maxwell. I don't have this one. Harp player who liked to play jazz, in this case. For the, uh, the tarantula, there's a song with this name, uh, titled Tarantula. I'm sure it'll be jazzy. And also jazzy, it's Joe Morello on RCA Victor. What's the date on this? 1962. The first time on his own, the drummer, other drummers listened to, and Jazz Pole voted for Joe Morello and his Sextet and Orchestra. That'll be fine. There's a cover of Summertime on that record. Sentimental Journey, Cy Oliver arranges and conducts and sings. Cy Oliver sings on this, and I've never seen a photograph of him. There he is, apparently, right there, on Dot. Fun fine. Also, T Tito Puente, his orchestra, My Fair Lady Goes Latin. Great fine. Uh, nice color cover. Nice photograph. The cover on this is a little bit chewed up, but it looked very interesting to me. Johnny Smith Quartet on Roost Records. Samba. Blue Lights. Bags, grooves, that, that's going to be a lot of fun, I think. And Willis Jackson, I have no idea who he is. Bossa Nova Plus, tenor sax guitar, two guitars, oh, Kenny Burrell on guitar. Piano, bass, congas, conga, timbales, drums, and kibasa. What the hell is that? I thought it was something you, you ate along with sauerkraut. Sure, that's Kilbasa, right? Okay, anyway, there you go. Never mind. This was a fun find. It's a stereo action album. I do not have. In this case, it's another Manny album. I think he made at least two or three in this series, stereo action. It's where RCA created uh, records just to promote stereo in the early days of stereo. Uh, in this case, there's two die cuts on it. That's a die cut, that's a die cut. Interesting cover. So the sleeve is glossy and pulls out and has the art on it. It shows through the die cut. In the Evening by Moonlight, Johnny Long. It's out of Cincinnati on King's Records, Johnny Long. Oh. And Johnny Long and his orchestra. Don't know what to think about that. I'm sure it'll be fine. A gypsy, music from all over the world. It's a nice cover, just a festive cover on Somerset. Ray Charles Singer's Songs for Latin Lovers. It's not a book fold, interestingly enough. It's just a single sleeve. 
on command. This is great. Sounds appropriate by the sounds appropriate. There it is. This is a, a lounge album, and they cover Proud Mary, of course they do, Bill Bailey, oh boy, On a Clear Day, Misty Satin Doll, Leroy Brown. That's going to be fun. I got that at the thrift store, along with this terrific cover, Love. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's Mark Lucas, Lucas and, 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 and Clancy Troy. Piano, trombone, flute, bass, and percussion. Oh. On the reverse side of this record, it's the whole side is devoted to a, a, some sort of medley from Jesus Christ Superstar. <laughs> and on side one, there's a seven-minute medley called, titled The War Medley. Wow. Hmm. Very interesting. It's the Bebop era. It's a collection of songs on RCA. Oh, from 1965, a number of bebop artists. That would be a lot of fun to listen to. This was a great cover, Bill Snyder. Bill Snyder, Café Rendezvous. Bill Snyder, with Bill Snyder, you want to know what he looks like? There he is in the back. You can look like anything back in the day and still get a job. The big new band from Britain, Dave Lee. And there's Dave Lee on the front. Ah! Dave Lee. Georgia on my mind, cheek to cheek, beyond the sea. Got a copy of this, but this was so clean I had to pick it up. It was like a dollar. Just in case. Picked it up again. It's Latin. Latin music. Lots and lots of tracks on that. And I probably got this too, but boy, talk about mini fresh. This is just like it came off the press. Big band Bossa Nova. Enoch Light. Very nice. Interesting cover. It's Jimmy Smith uh, doing some sort of... Um, uh, uh, trance, uh, oh geez, you know, I just, uh, some sort of cover, I mean, it was another cover. This, uh, his idea of what Peter and the Wolf must sound like, I don't know. Anyway, it's a book full of interesting, that's Jimmy Smith right there, wearing the wolf outfit. Herbert Law is in the beginning. It's a two record set. There he is. A giant picture of Herbert on the inside, in case you want to know what he looks like, right? There he is, in the beginning. Just a few, one or two, three tracks, one track on side two of record two. Interesting. That'll be a lot of fun on CTI. Chico Hamilton, The Headhunters. Uh, that Chico Hamilton now I played um, uh, on the last video it was so good and so early on. Looks like Frank Zappa's on the back cover, but it's not him. I wonder if that's Chico. Huh. Well, this will be a lot later, a lot later in his career, apparently. But that was just such a good album. The music of Quincy Jones, as played by Benny Bailey. It's just as a, it's on Argo, budgety looking cover. A trio, apparently. Benny Bailey, Aki Pearson, and Joe Harris. Wow. Are you still awake? Good, because we got more rec records to share. That's right. <laughs> it's uh, locally produced on Queen City album Lounge Record, My Way, featuring the Keith Charles duo. Uh, they do a cover of uh, Phoenix and My Way. Of course, My Way. There they are. Love it when they do a cover of My Way. Introducing Kathy Romanko and the Crystal Prism, another lounge record. <laughs> uh, Misty, they do a cover of Misty. Love is in the air. Laughter in the rain. <laughs> That's great. Big band guitar. The night orchestra of Buddy Morrow. Big band guitar. 1959. RCA. Also in RCA, it's the Horns of Plenty. Dick Shorey's new percussion ensemble. I think I probably have this one. I think he may have made two of them in this particular series, and this is from 1960, so I had to pick it up just in case. <sighs> Candy, Steam, and Other Sweets. Fun cheesecake cover. Hugh Montenegro, you want to know what he looks like? There he is on the back cover. Hugh Montenegro. Terrific composer, very creative. I don't have any idea who Shirley Scott is, but there she is, Great Scott, on Prestige. Uh, she's playing the Hammond organ. She's got a bass and drums backing her up. 
got to be jazz. There's a cover of Brazil on this, though, so that will be interesting. A terrific cover on this one. Listen to the Hamad Jamal Quintet. Uh, yeah, the cover of Baia. Probably pronounce that wrong. On um, chess, that's right. That'll be good. Soul Message, Richard Groove Holmes. Three. Richard plays the organ, and there's a guitar and drums, and there's three tracks on each side. That'll be fun. It's the Victor Fieldman All-Stars play the world's first album of jo <laughs> Soviet jazz themes. That's right. 1963. Soviet jazz themes. It's Lester Young, Prez. I don't know what that means. It's on Charlie Parker. It's a jazz record, apparently. I cover the waterfront. And Sunday, Destination Moon is on this. Two tracks on side two, one of which is Destination Moon. All right, we're coming down to the end of the video. Oh, I'm going to have to play. I'm going to have to share like three records. This is going to be such a long video. It's my home on the Hills of Glory. It's the Dayton Harvesters Quartet. Uh, this is also out of uh, Cincinnati. Uh, probably made it's at Hamilton, Ohio, but it's for all intents and purposes. Cincinnati. Cincinnati produced... It's instrumental, Sounds of Love, Bobby Vinton. Bobby Vinton. There he is on the back. Tommy Edwards, You Started Me Dreaming. Tommy Edwards, You Started Me Dreaming on MGM. Near East Brass. Did I already hold this up? I've got it. <laughs> now I have another copy. Near East Brass, West Coast Style, Jerry Fielding and his orchestra. It's good. I remember it being good. Ah, the Mary hats off the Mariachi Brass, uh, World Pacific. Took probably got to be pretty good. Featuring Chet Baker. There's Chet on the back. That's what he looks like. Saxy, sa Saxy Jazz. It's uh, Bill Black Combo. Looked pretty early on for him. Um, don't normally collect his stuff, but man, it was an interesting looking cover. And for a dollar, and this was a, little, a lucky find, a very nice photograph on the front. Vibes on Vilva, Terry Gibbs. It's going to be quite a good jazz-flavored uh, vibe-laden. Uh, looks like there's about one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten people in his band. That'll be fun. Who am I? It's the Melody Boys Quartet out of Cincinnati. Ohio, an artist recording company. Oh. Ah, great cover. Terrific cover. And just because it happened to be on the bottom of the stack, uh, it's bashing the unpredictable Jimmy Smith. Arrangements by Oliver Nelson on the back. It's a gatefold on the back. Walk on the wild side. That'll be fun. So cool. That was a, that was a terrific day. A terrific day. So many records now to go upstairs and process everything. Oh, that's right. Now I remember. I was going to talk about medication. <laughs> I stopped taking the Zoloft. Um, this just really wasn't work doing anything for me. And so I took, I've taken one of the new medication is Lexapro. On the list, I don't have many options left. <laughs> uh, but Lexapro is, is one. And I said it was going to take a while for it to kind of like work, but just the first one, it just really had a positive effect, I hope. That will continue to continue to just chill me out, man. There you go. All right. Yeah, good news all the way around. Thanks for stopping by once again and hanging out to the end of the video. Now, listen to the musical samples. I demand that you listen, you know, to the musical samples. Coming up now. Turn this thing off. Okay. <laughs> Yo soy como soy, no cambiaré, así yo nací, así moriré. Me gusta bailar rum, suave danzón, y bailo la rumba igual que un buen son. Me paso las noches bailando y gozando por donde quiera. No importa que hablen, yo sé lo que dicen y no me importa. Yo soy como soy, no cambiaré, así yo nací, así moriré. Me gusta bailar un suave danzón, y bailo la rumba igual que un buen son.
and I pass by an old whiskey store. I saw a little boy, his clothes were so shabby. I stopped and I stood by the door. I want you to listen while I Don't sell him no whiskey to 